Rita, can you please tell us the name of the masked singer the panel have decided to keep in the competition? Yes. This decision is based off both performances this evening. You've both done brilliantly. The masked singer we're keeping in the competition is... Viking! We'll see you again next time. And ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Viking, everybody! Yay! Bye, Viking! Oh, Grandfather Clock. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. For your time on The Masked Singer has come to an end. And very shortly, you will be removing your mask. But first, panel, of course, who do you think is behind the mask? Mo, I'm going to come to you first. So, I feel like we're getting closer and closer. The football, the pundits. I'm still going to go with my first guess of Lee Dixon. Lee Dixon, Mo, Davina. I am going to go football as well. I feel like you're tall, and I'm going to go with David Seaman. All the love for that in the studio. Uh, Rita, who are you going to go with? I'm going to go with my initial guest, Ian Wright. OK, Jonathan, finally. OK, so it was so hard because we loved hearing you sing, but I think we felt from tonight's performance is the Viking had a bit more to give, and I think that you've given us so much already. I am going to go with football, like the rest of them. I'm going to go with that 86 England squad. I think it's a goalkeeper. I'm going to go with Peter Shelton. Peter Shelton. All different people. Well, wow. Let's see if any of you are right. It's time to find out the identity oh, of yes. our masked singer. Oh, yes. oh, grandfather clock. Who's behind the mask? Take it off. 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 So close. Jonathan said your name. I'm kicking myself. I'm kicking myself. And I've just remembered you had a hit single, Hoddle and Waddle, Diamond Lights, was it called? Yeah, they had a hit single back in the day. I With should have Chris thought. Waddell. What was the Bulgaria postcard? I couldn't wear that out. That was I made my England debut against Bulgaria. Oh. It's a tough one for you. That was back in about 1929, was that right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. Back when I was watching TV. <laughs> But you sang great. You can really sing. We were wow. really loving your singing. It's so hot under there. I bet. Oh, I bet. What did you think of our panel's guesses? Well, they were so close. I thought any any time now you're yeah. just no, gonna, we... you're going to nail it. But you know you didn't clock me. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We know you're a legend in all of that, right? But what I want to know is which one was the truth out of those three? Oh, yeah. Was oh, it I the... know what it was, the Prime Minister one. Yeah. Because yes. you, you went to Tony Blair, didn't you? Yeah. You visited he... Blair when he was in office, wasn't it? Yeah, he said something, yeah. He said for the World Cup, it was like I had a bigger job than he did. Yeah. That's for true. For six weeks, you know, yeah. and it, it was a bit like that. <laughs> and wow. you see the grey hairs. And in the end, history proved that you did a better job than he did as well. So. <laughs> <laughs>